Hi friends, good morning. It's Miss Susanna from Go Bananas Dancing. It is time for our first online dance class. Let's move and play ballet. Ideally for kids ages two through six, but I'm not gonna discourage anybody from joining along. I'm certainly a lot older than six years old. So I don't know if you can see my doggy. She's here with me too. It's a beautiful spring morning. The sun is starting to rise and let's get started. So if you take dance classes with Miss Susanna, you know that I always like to start with a fun warm up dance to get us moving and grooving and excited to be together and get our muscles nice and warm. So we're gonna start with one of my favorite dances to begin our dance classes with and it's called freeze game it's by yo gabba gabba and when it's time to freeze you're gonna freeze right which means you what right you stop your whole body you freeze and we're gonna do different movements like running and hopping as you can see I only have so much space here maybe that's how it is for you too I moved away some of the furniture you might want to try that too. Make sure you have a safe space. Make sure things are off the floor. We certainly don't want to trip or anything like that. Always want to be safe. Remember that's number one and then fun is a close number two. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, everybody, stand up. Stand up. Come on, stand up and let's play. Ready? Yep. Okay. Let's run. Run, Knees up. down just a little bit all right friends you might have heard my dog barking a little bit <laughs> all right let's go ahead and do our stretching now that our muscles are nice and warm we'll do some good stretching before we get into more of our dancing and ballet so first do you have big muscles show me Susanna I thought so let's give him a good stretch ready stand up nice and tall reach up High and reach down low. Touch the sky and touch your toes. Give them a little tickle, 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 tickle. Stretch to the left. Turn one time and curl up. <laughs> All right, my friends, 
This is what I like to pretend to be different kinds of animals. Today we're going to be caterpillars. So pretend you're a caterpillar, you're all curled up in your chrysalis or cocoon. <laughs> and we're going to turn into what? What does a caterpillar turn into? Right, a butterfly. So on the count of three, we'll change into butterflies. Ready? Okay, caterpillars. One, two, three. Woo! Fantastic. And spread those butterfly wings. Spread, spread, spread those butterfly wings. And let's give them a test fly. Fly, butterflies, fly. Fly, butterflies, fly. Fly through the air on this beautiful spring morning. Fly, butterflies, fly. All right, and just like a butterfly does outside, go ahead and sit down like a butterfly sits on a flower. Bring your feet together. You can kiss them together. Mwah! And now your legs are butterfly wings. Go ahead and flap those butterfly wings. And as you may know, this is our butterfly pose. This is our butterfly stretch. I've mentioned before, friends do this in Taekwondo, gymnastics, soccer. My son does it in soccer. And ballet dancers do it in ballet. It's a great stretch. Ooh, maybe you're a little tired from all that butterflying. Let's go ahead and take a little nap. You can close your eyes. You can bring your head down if you want to. Good night, butterflies. And wake up. What are you doing sleeping? We're supposed to be dancing. <laughs> all right, just kidding. Let's go ahead and do some more of our stretching. Go ahead, sit up nice and tall. Stretch out your strong legs. Point your toes down to the floor. We say, bye toes. Then flex them up to the sky. Hi toes. Point those toes down to the floor. Bye toes. Flex them up to the sky. Hi toes. You want to try that faster? Are you sure? Think you can do it? All right, let's do it. I like it. Bye toes, high toes, bye toes, high toes, bye toes, high toes. Bye toes. <laughs> that gets really silly really fast for me. Okay, go ahead and sit in crisscross applesauce. You know that one, right? Still stay standing nice and tall. Let's get our head ready for some dancing. You can say yes. I am ready to dance. And go ahead and shake your head no. What do we say no to today? How about, no, I don't want it to be a rainy day again like it was yesterday. And then go ahead and shrug your shoulders. I don't know. Maybe some rain today would be good, right? April showers, bring me flowers. <laughs> All right, and let's go ahead, get your arms ready to dance. Stretch them out nice and big. And then whoo, give yourself a hug. Good morning, self. It's gonna be a lovely day. Go ahead and stretch those arms again. Give yourself another hug. Good morning. Always important to give yourself some self-love. Got to take care of yourself, right? All right, friends. Let's go ahead. Get on your tummy. Keep your legs together. Go ahead and bring your head up just a bit and say, Right, a snake. This kind
kind of snake is a cobra. A little baby cobra. Go ahead and come down and bring your snake bottom right on top of your feet or I guess you'd have the end of your tail <laughs> if you're a snake. And bring your head down, stretch out your arms. Excellent. Let's go ahead, come up like ballet dancers. We're gonna do one more stretch before we get into our ballet dancing. Put one foot forward, raise up those arms. It's our dinosaur stretch. What do we say? Right, roar. Stand up nice and tall. Get your other leg, put that one forward. Raise up those arms. Dinosaurs say, roar. All right, friends, let's give ourselves a clap. Great stretching. How much time? Oh, wow, time is ticking. Okay, friends, let's go ahead and get to our plies and releves and tendus. Three steps in ballet. We do a lot. These ones are important, so it's always good to practice them every time you have a ballet class, even when you're as old as Miss Susanna. So I'm going to get my dot. Friends in my classes know I love these. And actually, I'm going to take off my scarf, too, so I can move around a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stand on this dot. It's my favorite color. Can you see what color that is? Right, green. I love green. I like green trees, green grass. Okay, so putting my feet together like I'm a soldier, I can go ahead and do ballet like this with my feet together, or if you want to try, open your toes just a little bit. Like you can fit a slice of what? In between your toes. Right, a slice of pizza. So if you can fit a slice of pizza between your two feet, you are standing in first position. And let's go ahead and bring our arms like we're holding a big, like a big pizza pie. And now your arms are in first position. We're going to bend our knees, right? That's our plie. Say plie. Very good. We're also going to go up onto our tippy toes. Releve. Say releve. Fantastic. We'll do three plies and then we'll go up into releve one time. Ready? Here we go. Plie and up. Plie and up. Plie and up. Releve. And come down. Very nice. Try it again. Plie and up. Plie and up. Plie and up, releve, fantastic. Now, this time go up into releve, bring your arms up to the sky, see if you can balance, make your head, I mean make your body so strong from your toes all the way up to your feet, suck in your tummy, make it nice and tight, and come down, very nice. This time when we go up into releve, let's do a beautiful, Tippy toe turn. Fantastic. And then stand up nice and tall. Balance. Very good. Let me check our time here. Oh, I'm going to have to pause for just a moment. I'll be right back, friends. <laughs> 